100 kilo. It's all the uh, sex toys you asked me to bring you. Put all your stuff away and check out for the day. There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees. Burns under my feet. Won't you have a drink with me? What's in my bag? We, we had an attack. Small little heels, which is a rarity for me because usually I eat six inches and above. We're still talking about shoes. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's vlog, I am in sunny Dubai. I'm gonna take you along for the ride, starting off in London, picking up a new car, traveling to Dubai with my best friend and arriving, showing you some of the things I'm getting up to here. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I have just picked up this very cool Jeep car from Chelsea Truck Company. Super excited to surprise my girlfriend. Emma, never ever ever stop surprising me <laughs> every day every minute every second there is something new a new surprise so today she picked me up in this beautiful um, Jeep uh, navy blue uh, with the lime green, lime green Bottega Vineta interior <laughs> you love it yeah I love it so much yeah super cool Cabriolet. Everybody wants to say hi. Everyone is looking. Make friends. So anytime you want to run some errands, Zarina, I'll be your driver. I'll take you to the airport, pick you up. Tonight we actually are going to Dubai on a 9 p.m. flight. It's overnight flight. And tomorrow morning we'll be in Dubai in the yeah. sun. Irina convinced me to fly with her. So I'm flying a day early. I convinced her to fly with me in economy. Premium economy. Premium economy. To give up my business class ticket. She gave up her business class ticket in order to sit next to me in premium economy. And I You're think, so happy about that. Yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs> but we will try to upgrade at the airport. But anyways, <laughs> this should be in front of the car, Emma. This we is not committed. Uh, this is not fence. correct. So you checked in one bag and you took five with you. Very efficient, Emma. Well done. Let's go. 100 kilo, it's overweight a little bit, right? 100 kilo? It's all the uh, sex toys you asked me to bring you. Not for me. It's <laughs> actually a nice color combination, the yellow and gray. This is what Irina said she promised me, some great content if I flew premium economy with her. That's my back. It's the only one and only. And look at her. She's a contact creator, that's why she needs five bags as a hand luggage. You know, I have to carry the laptop, the iPad. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, 20, 20 hats, tripod, 10 pair of shoes. We're here to take a flight to Dubai. And guess where she drags me? <laughs> Straight to Chanel. We were just thinking how amazing it would be if this was our wardrobe, you know, thinking what to wear today, oh maybe this one, or this one, dream closet, we have to manifest this. 7am we just landed in Dubai, we're waiting for our luggages, <laughs> slept a little bit on the flight, it went quite well, but I definitely hope that I can check in early to my hotel because I need to sleep. Checking in to this beautiful room at the Mandarin Oriental. I am back at the Mandarin Oriental in Dubai, my favorite hotel. I was here last year and I thought that I would do a little after-flight makeup skincare routine with you in the other way around, skincare makeup routine. The flight was actually very manageable. I slept most of the way, I didn't even need a sleeping tablet. But there was no crying babies around, which was very fortunate. I find after flights that my skin is very dehydrated. I'm gonna use my Guerlain eye drops. It's an eye serum. This is so nice because it comes with this little ball and it almost like massages the eye and gets rid of any puffiness. This is my affordable beauty product. It's a moisturizer by Embryolise and I have 
I actually first got onto this over 10 years ago when I was doing some shoots. I was modeling at the time with Premier Models and all the makeup artists would have it in their makeup bag and it was like from a French pharmacy. Yeah, it's about 15 pounds. And then uh, what I like and why I use this is that it doesn't crumble under makeup. I think the only moisturizer for me that doesn't crumble is the beautiful Magic Cream by Charlotte Tilbury. This one is just really easy and simple. It's a basic. And then on top, I use my must-have Charlotte Tilbury primer with SPF 50. I want to be really quick because I actually have a manicure booked. I'm getting my nails done. I'm going to think I'm going to go for like a red because I want something brighter now that we're in sunshine. Flawless filter, Charlotte Tilbury. This one is in shade four. This, I'm feeling a little bit more daring. It's definitely a darker shade for me. But we're gonna get a little bit of a tan here, so I thought this is the color for me. You know, ambitious, very ambitious saying a tan, but at least a bit of a glow concealer. On the flight over, there's the people who like to disconnect and not have anyone contact them. And then there's people that are frantically trying to get Wi-Fi to stay connected with people. That's me. <laughs> As soon as I get on the flight, before it's even taken off, I'm trying to get Wi-Fi and they're always like, you know, I think you have to wait until we're a bit higher in the sky until the Wi-Fi works. And I'm trying to like relax yeah. and I even have my friend next to me, we're flying together, but still, I don't know, it's something about this. I gotta work on that. I was gonna tell you about a little insecurity of mine and then I was like, maybe I just do this off camera and then come back on camera. I, I'm really needing to work on the whole thing like about being real and like you seeing me without makeup looking my worst. One of the secrets about what makes my skin look the way it does, so I do get a lot of questions about it, is I remove all my peach fuzz. What is peach fuzz I hear you say? It's all the little hairs. The best thing that works for me is beet hair removal cream. But it removes it straight away. I don't have to go and book an appointment, have red skin afterwards, be in pain. And it just really works for me, and that's like my number one secret. I'm gonna use a little bit of my NARS tinted moisturizer. I'm gonna use my NARS little pink. It's very pink, this one, but it's gorgeous. Hmm. That one is orgasm. Yeah. Necessity in one's life. <laughs> Gotta get the nails done, manicure, pedicure. I'll be back. Good morning! I wanted to show you some of the outfits that I packed with me. They are fire outfits. New from Farfetch and I wanted to show you because I'm excited and we haven't properly unpacked yet. Without further ado, let's get into it. So first up I wanted to show you this gorgeous blue marine dress. It's a crochet, it's full length and I saw it on Dua Lipa and I was like wow she looks like a mermaid. So this is the dress. I love red. I think it really goes with my skin tone. With my Jean Vita Rossi sandals. Really beautiful. The only thing I don't like is this hole here. This part I think is the most flattering. It's like seashells. Very cute. Next look. I love matching denim separates. So this is from Loewe. I like the little pockets at the side deliberately low-waisted. It's both shorts and a skirt. Since this is showing a lot of skin, I'd want to be as casual as possible, so I'm gonna wear these MS slides. Loewe beach bag. Maybe my little Christian Dior hat, little visor, to make this look super cute. As you can see, we haven't yet got the tan going on, but I have to say, I really love this swimsuit. I like the little pockets, it's quite cute. And then the low back. I'm gonna put on my little denim Alaya shorts. I wasted these ones. And I'm wearing my Sherpa Emma sandals. Again, my trusty little beach bag, my visor. 
And that would be my look. Next look. So I have my black Celine bikini on. I'm going to wear it with my little Miu Miu top and matching skirt. Now I have had comments that this looks like a tennis look, but I don't care to look a little sporty. White Sherpa and their sandals. And that would be my easy breezy beach look. This is my next look, one of my favorite dresses. I'm going to wear my Alaya little kitten heels. Is that the right word? Small little heels, which is a rarity for me because usually I need six inches and above. We're still talking about shoes. <laughs> it's a very tight dress, but I love this look. Super glam. Up next is this beautiful Magda Boutram look. I love the little rose applique here. Up next is my Courage, if I'm pronouncing correctly, Courage skirt, which I love. I got this on Netta Porter. My Loewe white little tank top, my bag. Last but not least, my Chanel dress. It's a beach dress. I love this one. I have my shades, my little pink bag, my Emma sandals. I like the pockets here. Good morning! I'm doing my hair for the beach. You're probably thinking I'm crazy, who does that? But um, I went to the beach and I thought, you know what? I really should dress up here a little bit more, put a bit more effort. <laughs> I'm also going for lunch, so I thought it would be nice to have like my hair looking somewhat styled. But, uh, oh, I burned myself. What's in my bag? I always find it very interesting what's in people's bags, so we'll soon find out what's in mine. First up, I have this clear plastic bag from Space & K. What's really useful about it is I don't have to put everything into a plastic bag at the airport because I already have something to see through. Obviously, packing the essentials, hand cream. This one is a rose L'Occitane hand cream. I love this one. It doesn't leave a sticky residue and it's just very nice for hydrating the hands. Then, obviously, my SPF sun cream, which I can't live without. I'm very pale and I need it. Also, I love my Anya Hinmark travel bags. It's really easy and convenient. I love the like dividing sections. So in here, keep my Compu plasters, very important. Keep some mints, keep my hair bands, some more toothpicks, got my sunglasses. Okay, packing cubes. I really love packing cubes. It's the way I organize my clothes, these Hermes slippers. They double up as not only sandals, but also slippers when you're walking around the room. Very comfy. Okay, a hat. I love this visor. It's like my signature look. Unlike a hat that can get crushed, this one is really easy to travel with. Face masks. I love these. Definitely after taking a long flight to hydrate the skin. Now, as I obviously have my tripod, my lights, my microphones, my cameras when I travel, um, I need a little electronics bag. This one from Toomey is very useful. It's got my hard drives, my charger for iPhone, the iPhone holder on the tripod. There's just so many little things, little gadgets that are essential for my content creation. So that always comes with me. Another essential item, face mask. Block out that light a book. I'm reading this one at the moment. I need to always travel with a book. I always keep a spare phone. I know that sounds a bit ridiculous, but I have lost my phone on multiple occasions and it's just so handy to have everything backed up on here. Passports, English and Irish. Those are my travel essentials that I keep in this amazing Goyard bag. You saw how much I travel with in my hand luggage, but I always get away with it. Okay, quick little outfit check. Black Hermes slides. I'm wearing my red Celine bikini, my Osere black little cover-up, my Loewe bag. Perfect, and that is my look. See you at the beach. Hello, and welcome back. So, it's time to get ready. What are we gonna wear? How can we do the makeup? I wanna have a little chat with you. I'm gonna answer one question that comes up quite a lot on my YouTube channel. Um, it's how to be fearless and confident. 
I think that one of my top tips for being fearless and fabulous is really to fake it. Yeah, sometimes you have to pretend, sometimes you have to give it a performance even. I have to like act a little bit, act that I'm really confident and that I have it all together. That's number one. Number two is like kind of manifestation. You have to believe it and if you don't believe it, no one else will. When you manifest, you have to have this confidence that everything's already happening or in the process. It's also just believing in yourself and your abilities and surrounding yourself with really positive people that support you. All these things really help you to be confident and fearless and yeah, and feel empowered. Okay, so I think the makeup we are, we're pretty much done. I'm gonna put some lip gloss on. Let's choose an outfit. So I found this dress that I've had for like 10 years. I sold a couple before and I really regret it, so we're no longer selling a liar. But I was thinking to wear this piece, it's almost vintage now. <laughs> I have one other option, but let's try this on. It did have some potential, but I decided that we should go for a different one. I've gone for this one instead. My Attico shoes. This is my look. in Dubai and we are going out so going to this place called Xenon I thought uh, I'd try it out it's a AI inspired restaurant so it's gonna be quite an experience so I'm thinking tonight just like really sleek sophisticated look minimal efforts this goes like that I'm gonna wear my Jean Vito Rossi sandals Rouge Baccarat my favourite perfume sweet home and I want to take off my makeup get ready for bed with you first of all I am going to use this gorgeous night cream as a cleanser what I like about the Chart Tilbury products is like the cleansers can also be used as masks I use this to remove all my makeup this is the part that's gonna get a little bit messy ready there we go now, obviously, I wouldn't be usually doing this. I'd be using a makeup remover. But we brought five makeup bags, but no makeup remover or toothpaste. I told you I don't have my life together. It looks beautiful. What a masterpiece. I think I am I excel more in the putting on the makeup part. I'm gonna use this amazing Sicily eye mask. I go to bed smelling of roses. There we go. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know which was your favorite part. Also, let me know what you'd like to see more on this channel as I love your feedback. I'm always listening, reading, learning, <laughs> trying to improve each time. So thank you for all your support and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.